Hey everyone, Mike here, Global Voodoo. Today I want to talk about 10 steps to successfully selling on eBay. Step number one, you want to identify your market. Take a while to sit and watch for what sells and what doesn't out of the items you're interested in. Any market research data you can collect will be very useful to you later on. You'll probably see the sweet spots qu quite quickly, then one or two items that will always seem to sell for a good price. Step number two, watch the competition. Before you invest any money, see what the other sellers in your categories are up to and what their strategies are. Pay special attention to any flaws in their auctions might have. You know, it's very, it's very basic. You know, you just got to see what what the competition's doing. You know, because if there if there is somewhere where you can move in and beat them at their own game, that's even better. You know, step three: find a product, get a hold of a supplier for whatever it is you want to sell, and see what the best rates you can get are. Don't be afraid to you know ring around quite a few to get the best deal. If the EBA prices you've seen are higher than the suppliers, then you're set. You know, then again, you know, we've talked about this before, thrift stores, estate sales, garage sales, all that good stuff. It's all about finding the right product at the right price. And, um, you know, my big thought is, you know, buy it cheap and sell it high. Uh, step number four, you know, smart, start small. Don't throw thousands at your idea straight away. Get started slowly. See what works and what doesn't and learn as you go. Remember that it's very cheap to try out even the craziest ideas on eBay. And who knows, they just might work. Step five, just test and repeat. Keep trying different strategies until you find something that really works. And then don't be ashamed to keep doing it again and again and again. The chances are that you just found a good niche. Step six, work out a business plan. A business plan doesn't need to be anything formal, just a few pages that outline the market opportunity you spotted, your strategy, your strengths, weaknesses of the plan, and just a brief budget. This is more for you than it's just it is for anyone else. Step seven, invest and expand. This is the time to throw money at the problem. Buy inventory. Start spending more time on your business. Set a goal number of sales each week, increasing it each time. And it's more important you just you set up these goals. You want to accomplish these goals, whether they're daily goals, weekly goals, monthly goals, yearly goals. It's very important. Step eight, make it official. Once you've made a few thousand dollars of sales, you should really register yourself as a business. Don't worry, it's not expensive or hard to do. It, you know, it, it, you can, there's a lot of great information online to learn about how to start a business. Um, also, maybe stay tuned here in the future. I can give you a brief, uh, you know, overview on how I started my businesses. Uh, step nine, automate. You'll probably find that, you know, you're writing the same things again and again in emails or item descriptions. This is the time to give up on the manual method and turn to automated software that can create listings for you and respond to completed auctions and comments with whatever message you provide. You know, I do this on a, on a, on a daily basis with, with a lot of the uh, wholesale stuff I sell on eBay. You know, I get questions from them and, you know, I already have the, the templates for them because there's, you know, when I've, been, I've been selling for so long that I already know a lot of the questions that are going to be asked to me and it, it saves up some time for me if I just write them down really quickly and keep them in a in a uh, word template but uh, yeah it's very important to do and, and here's step here's the last step here guys real quick never give up even when it looks like it's all going wrong don't stop trying until you succeed if you keep working at it then you will almost find that you make a real breakthrough just when things are starting to look desperate so you know once you get into the swing of things you might start thinking that you should quit your job and take up eBay selling part-time but it's not always as easy as that there are all sorts of factors that you need to consider. This is just a quick little video, quick little audio podcast here of basically me just giving you just some quick 10 tips for eBay. I hope you guys found these useful. Uh, if you did, please like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, this is Mike Global Voodoo. I'm out. Peace.